Hi guys, um, I'm Lara. I'm from Dogoteca Balkan. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about our product, uh, Soft Pet Butter. Um, I have Pepe with me uh, because he insisted in being the video. So he's here with us. I want to start off by um, just um, checking the ingredients, uh, which are the same obviously in the big one and also in the small packaging. Right, Pepe? Yeah, they're the same. Um, so how companies describe the ingredients is the highest ingredient on the list is usually the one that is there um, in the biggest amount. So um, on the soft pet butter, if you check yours at home, it will also say uh, shea butter, uh, mango seed butter, uh, and then there's a bunch of other oils, uh, but there is no water on this, uh, on this ingredient list and there's also no preservatives. So um, the question that um, a lot of us, a lot of distributors, um, the production staff uh, for Dogoteca have been getting is why does the color um, of the butter itself vary from, the, from each packaging? Um, so all this you can see, this one is white, but the other one that I have currently in stock, so this is my stock. It's different, it's a little bit more grainy, and it's even more white than the other one. They all smell the same, mostly the same, but they do have um, some different textures. This one is very yellowish, the small one. So if we just keep, um, keep uh, opening more and more packagings, we will eventually see that like not even two of uh, soft pet butters will have the same color. And why so basically our products are all natural um which means that we don't add any preservatives and we use um we use plants uh so for example in this case mango seed oil and uh, shea butter from um natural resources so, so our color of our products uh depends on how the uh, temperature, the sunlight, the uh, soil quality is when the plant that we are using for production uh, is growing. So for example, if a mango, mango plant uh, that we use in uh, soft pet water production um, has a little bit more sunshine one time, then the next time a little bit less or more, more rain, less rain, that all affects the color of the product. Um, and there's a, like I said, there's a lot of natural oils in this that mostly derive from plants. So that all just um, makes the makes the color of the, the the butter different. But that doesn't mean the quality is different or that the butter is um, expired. That that makes um, no the other thing no that we have been getting a lot of questions about um, is basically that um, our products um, uh, have different consistencies. And that is again um, an issue of storage. So um, I intentionally left the small one um, on the sun for five minutes. And as you can see, it's starting to, I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to glow a little bit and melt. So because this is, you can also see it on the lid. So because this is a natural product and it has butter and oils in it, it doesn't have any alcohol, preservatives, water, um, ex expect that when you uh, expose the product um, to high temperatures, uh, sunlight, if you will leave it in the car, if you will leave it somewhere near the oven or somewhere it will get some heat radiation, um, you should expect that the, the butter will melt. Um, you can always put it in the refrigerator if you're on a holiday, if you cannot find a, um, a cold spot in your apartment, you can put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so it can uh, uh, form back into the butter and it will still be um, still be the same quality and it is not, exp it is not expired just because it melts. But um, we do recommend um, keeping the soft pet butter um, in a cool and dry place just to make sure that the quality stays the best for uh, you guys. 
Okay, so what I want to talk to you about next is a little bit more scientific, um, but is, it is very important and it is important to us at Logoteca um, to explain this stuff to our clients so they we are reassure them that uh, the product quality uh, really is very high with us. So um, we have been getting questions if um, soft pet butter can go bad, if it can grow bacteria. Um, and, uh, I just wanted to explain, okay, I don't know what Peppa just saw, uh, but I wanted to explain, uh, I'm a medical student, um, I'm in fourth year of medical school, and I actually passed microbiology last year, it is not my field, um, but I do understand a little bit about the basics, and I'll try to use that to explain to you guys why bacteria, uh, shouldn't be able to grow in our, uh, butter, so basically bacteria, most of the bacteria um, are 70% water. And bacteria do need um, nutrients and water to grow, reproduce, and be active, so be toxic to us. Um, if the bacteria doesn't have water, it will die. Most of the bacteria will die, um, or will, uh, they will remain dormant and won't be able to reproduce or um, be active. So that means that some bacteria um, the bacteria that I'm talking about now are really rare, can um, exist in spores, which will um, stay dormant where the environment is not favorable for growth. Um, but like I said, those bacteria are very rare. Uh, but the bacteria that we see um, on, a daily, on a daily basis um, do need water for growth um, and reproduction. So our soft fat butter, like I said, has 0% water. It is only oils and uh, butters and natural extract. So the, um, the bacteria cannot grow in the butter. There is absolutely no way it could survive. Um, even for example, in hairless dogs, or if you, um, if you like to rub your dog's uh, paws after a walk. So if you transfer some dirt or some bacteria into the butter, and if you store the butter correctly, that is if the lid is fully closed, uh, and if it's in a, on a cold spot, the bacteria shouldn't be able to grow inside. Even the, the only option for bacteria to grow in the uh, in the soft pet butter is for example like i said if you leave the butter on a hot place and the butter melts and if the lid is not closed properly so for example if you just leave it like this or whatever so the air has uh, a way of getting in um you can expect to get some condensation on the lid and if you get condensation that means moisture and moisture is what bacteria needs moisture or water to grow and reproduce. Like so, I said, bacteria needs uh, an outside source of water and nutrients, of course, uh, to survive, reproduce, and be toxic to us. So without one of those, um, one of those uh, things, the bacteria will eventually die, and it won't reproduce. In, it won't multiply in uh, in the product, and it won't make the product go bad. So um, if you notice, of course, if you notice a foul smell. Um, in the product, you should definitely contact us. We will um, see what we can do, talk to you. But um, in most cases, um, if you see any variable colors in the soft pet butter, if you see any differences in, um, in structure, if you see some grains in the soft pet butter, ingredients are the same, but the, the, the uh, ingredients depend on nature. So like I said, you have different um, different environments where the uh, plants that we use grow and therefore you have different uh, colors, maybe some different structures, uh, but it will always be the same formula, the same percentages of ingredients, the same quality, and it is absolutely not harmful for your dog if, you're, if you buy two soft fat butters and they're different colors. It's the same. It is the same formula. Everything is the same. Uh, the color difference is just due to our products being so natural that. Uh, but he um, he uses soft pet butter for his nose, right? Um, and I also combine it with uh, Corti Adapt to uh, make his pigment as good as it can be. As you can see, it's really nice. His nose is fully black, and also his lips. Um, so that is what I use for him. Um, like I said, um, 
store the soft pad butter correctly, uh, make sure it's on a, in, uh, it's closed properly in a cold and dry place, and don't worry about differences in color and um, structure because that doesn't affect our quality. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me or your local distributor or um, Dogoteca International. Uh, we all have the same information, we all have the same products and the same quality of products. And we will always be here to help you. So uh, me and Pepe are going to sign off and uh, we'll talk to you soon.